Hi, everybody. I've got a great guest here to introduce to you today. Her name is Marnie, and she's one of my dearest friends. She's also an energy healer and an author. And I wanted to introduce her to you guys and uh, learn a little bit more about her offerings, her program, and her book. So welcome, Marnie. Hey, Megs. Thanks for having me. I'm really happy to be here. Excellent. So first of all, I wanted to know more about your signature program. Okay, so yeah, so my right now I'm I'm kind of in the final phases of figuring out how to run an online business. So that's been quite a process. And um, during that time, I learned that it's important to have kind of a signature offer to sell as a package when you're kind of coaching online. Um, so with that in mind, over the last year, I've been developing a program that's turned out to be kind of a hybrid transformational program for people who might be going through transitions. So, um, you know, things like maybe wanting to change their job or wanting to change a relationship on the outside world. And then sometimes when people go through it, they realize that the change has to happen internally, uh, so it can really go both ways, but, you know, most of the clients have, who have gone through it thus far have experienced some sort of very tangible experiential shift in their sense of self or in the outside world. And I suppose for the viewers, that really has everything to do with, you know, this system really helps you to kind of expand your energy field and then bring in the higher vibrational components of where you're going into your, your, your field so you can experience it and then take the effort towards manifesting that in the world in a sacred container of love and compassion. Um, because that's kind of the secret ingredient I, I perceive as really the root of energy healing when we're doing self-healing, that compassionate perspective is what brings energy into the heart center it's like the door. The door is a compassion door. You have to open it to bring the energies in. And then once you do that nectar or that zero point of your soul nature is going to be able to transform and alchemize what the patterns are so that you can move forward into the next stage of your growth. So if you have a lot of stuff there and it's backed up, you know, you might realize after going through the program that you actually have a lot of work to do or inner child work. Um, so it really you know, I've had so many different types of transformations thus far. There's that example, but then there's also people that are really just ready to go and they just need someone to say, Hey, yes, you can do that. And then it's a miracle how much transforms in their life, how much they're ready to, you know, quit their job or move houses or let go of a relationship to let in all of these beautiful things that are there waiting for them on the other side of that process. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes as well, it's, it could happen that maybe there's an inner child piece in their experience that's really knocking on that heart, of, you know, that doorway in the heart. And when they process that, maybe at first they were thinking that they needed to end a relationship or end a job. And then by going through the transformational program, they actually realized it was an internal piece that needed to be completed. And then once that was done, their partner or their job actually was there to meet them on the other side. And there was an, you know, that internal shift made everything feel a lot more harmonious and balanced. Wow. So, yeah, so it's pretty cool, like the different things that can happen. So the root of it is that for people who are seeking transformations and they want a holistic and maybe soul centered um, system that could help them move through a growth period or a soul lesson, for example. So that's one half of it. And then the other half and the reason why I created the program is I wanted to teach people the science of energy healing so that they could take the skills that I know, you know, and start exploring them on their own based on the fact that they now have the science and they have kind of the understanding of how energy healing works and what's going on in the field and why, why it does work, you know? Mm. So, yeah. And then within that, you get this beautiful, um, uh, kind of like half journal, half like, uh, PDFs with with images of the science behind energy healing. And mm -hmm. then you have places in there where you can do your heart work or your homework, but I've termed it heart work. That was actually taken from a friend of or a, a friend, but also a mentor of mine that she called 
her homework, heart work. And I thought, Hey, that's cool. It works for my, I mean, my business. Cause come on, like heart it's right in the name. Yep. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then you'll also get, um, so we do like a, a kind of attunement meditation in each uh, session. There's seven sessions total. And those attunements or those guided meditations will also have a link on YouTube where you can uh, re redo them over at any time in the future. Cause you'll always have that link to mm same meditation, although it'll be a, a videotaped version of what we've already done live within mm. this. Session. So, nice. yeah. So like lots of goodies, lots of, and then you, you end up with that cool, um, kind of like journal slash teaching, teaching workbook at the end to, I, to kind of look over. I know, I don't know about you, but I always found with myself, like when I was going through big transformations in my life, it was so nice to look back and kind of see where I was and where I got to, you know, and those memories of the milestones that we experience in our, in our soul growth. So yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. That's really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, so who is your ideal client? So what types of clients are best suited for your program? I know you mentioned people that are interested in holistic health and, and, you know, I, I think there has to be a certain willingness to grow and change, but what else in particular seems to be in common with, um, with your clients? Yeah. So one thing that I don't always like to admit, but it's the truth of it is every single client I've had online thus far has been a woman. <laughs> so I don't always say I'm just only working with women, but it tends to be, maybe it's my coloring, maybe it's my nature. Maybe it's the fact that energy healing is kind of a feminine aspect within our own selves, whatever it is, but it seems to be that it's, it's mostly always women that, that get, I gravitate towards my, my, uh, my brand. Um, and then on top of that, the women I've worked through, worked with Seth thus far online have been about in their late twenties to late thirties. So kind of a stage where you're already kind of your own individual self, you kind of self-directing your life at this point, but just want that deeper container and that more expansive container to open up to maybe something you already know is there, but you just want that safe space and the guidance, um, the guidance that comes with that. So, yeah. So, and it's also that it's usually people that are interested in soul development. Maybe they're just at the beginning or maybe they're actually an adept already and just want again, that, um, that teaching space to be able to talk about past lives, to be able to talk about the deeper inner child work, um, and really, yeah, I think a big aspect, I keep saying it, but like just people that want to feel held mm -hmm. and accountable, they, they usually want to do the work themselves. They just want that container, that safe space where they're, they have to show up and they're also prompted and guided into what areas to go. Um, I know some of the women that I've worked with have been surprised at, and myself as well, because it's been a transition to work from in-person to online. Um, just how powerful it can be. I mean, you know that too, with you do energy healing um, in your videos. And even last week when we were talking, um, when I opened my eyes from that crystal crystal channeling, it was like, whoa, there was just a big flash of white light. And I was so shocked. I was like, well, that's, yeah, that's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. um, that, yeah, that people, you know, once you know the anatomy of the energy field, it's easier to kind of go, know where you're going, know where the core, you know, truths are for people so that they can have their own map system of what they're doing. Um, my cat's just over there. So that's why I looked over there. <laughs> He's coming up, I think, or no, changed our mind. Um, yeah. So I don't like to say like, I don't like to like narrow it in so much, but really it is so far has been that kind of like late, late twenties or mid twenties to late thirties. Although in my past, I've worked with women who are also, you know, upwards into their seventies and still had, you know, maybe they're transitioning. It seems to always, now that I'm saying it out loud, it's always related to some type of transition, some type of letting go, some type of bringing in something new. Um, so, and always heart-based, right? So that, that kind of covers every relationship, job, romantic, friendship, family, environment, home you know, a relationship with a self internally. Um, yeah. So does that answer your question? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
I liked how you were talking about um, having the container and a safe space and how that's been something that has been really beneficial for your clients and the women who've gone through your program. And I wanted to know, um, how do you support your clients throughout the duration of the program? Yeah, so that's a good question. So the, um, I just have Bella here. So she's just, oh, <laughs> this is our old cat. She's 14. She's so not as old as one of your cats, I remember, but still she's getting there. She's getting a little what a good girl. light on the touch and she's got some wobbly back hips and stuff. Still quite frisky though. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll start with um, a pretty in-depth questionnaire that allows me to see what you want to get from the program, where you want to go, what's holding you back, what are your curiosities, what are your you know pain points in a way, mm. and and also I ask for your uh, birthday so I can do a light I do a light dive because I'm not an astrologist and I'm not I don't feel it's a really a professionally something I would charge for, but I like to just um, go through people's rising sun sign and the moon sign, the three yeah. of them. Yeah. Just to see, get an understanding of their personality. And then I also do the um, human design too, just to kind of see how their systems work as well. And then I, I'll give them an overview of that in the next, in the first session where we meet. Um, and I like to say too that you know there's a lot of you know heart homework heart work work prompts and things that help you dive deeper in between sessions and the questionnaire as well is is as much for me as it is for the client so they're getting prompted to kind of dig into what really is going on why are they wanting to you know get support for a tra transition in their life and what are they you know what are they looking for really at the core mm -hmm. um and then we start the live sessions, which are one hour sessions, or you can upgrade for, I think it's about $250 to add half an hour to each session. So that's a total of two and a half hours. If I'm getting that right. Four, five, no, three and a half hours, extra one-on-one -on -one time. If that's something people, I've had a couple of clients that just really love to ask questions. So it's kind of just an, an opportunity to, you know, get some guidance or, or deeper knowledge on soul level life and living and experiencing mm -hmm. philosophy. So this, isn't, this isn't a pre-recorded video of you. This is them getting to be with you one-on-one -on -one live. Yeah. For seven, they'll get seven sessions, seven, I call it like hybrid teaching and coaching. Um, wow. the, the big coaching aspect is mostly guided meditation and it's energy healing. Cause we'll go in. And at one point when we start to do the inner child work, there is like noticing where the resistances or the blockages are. Um, and this is so, like you said, this is like one to one. This isn't a group where everybody's learning at the same time. This is getting individualized time and attention with you. Yeah. This is yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's basically, yeah, you get a total of seven hours one on one or seven, eight, nine, ten and a half hours one on one if you do the upgrade. Um, and then in between sessions, you'll also have access. I have two office hour times that kind of changed month to month. So you'll be notified as when my office hour times, if you decide to do the program um, and you can email me at any time with updates, or if you want to, you know, just update me on your experience through the week, I'll give feedback during those times through email. And, um, and then we meet the next week and just kind of repeat the process uh, as well. You asked about containers. So I find people usually, you know, there's something to be said about, being in a non-judgmental space. And, you know, when you work with the heart and the soul, that's base, that's a prerequisite, right? Because the heart needs to accept everything without judgment. It's not like we're going to take action on things that are harmful, but we're going to accept why they exist. And we're going to be curious about why they exist without judgment. And that's what brings it into the heart, right? So mm. I think people find a lot of safety in that because, it's, I mean, I feel it too, but we're so conditioned to have what's right and what's wrong in the world. And if it, if you're doing something that's in the wrong box, you don't ever get to kind of delve into it because there's the judgment closes that doorway. Right. So in this safe space, we're opening and we're getting to the root first of kind of your soul essence through the divine inner child. And then knowing where that core truth is everything else becomes a little, little bit more superficial. 
So it's not, you have this new understanding, you know, a lot a lot of the times we think, or people think that, you know, there's something inside them. So it makes them a bad person or at their root, they're rotten. I've heard people say that recently. I'm like, how could you ever think that you're not rotten? You're beautiful. Mm. So that divine inner child piece at first, that's the first session we would do together. We start activating that soul nature again. And then those rotten pieces quotation or the negative stuff becomes more something we can work it with something we can investigate. Cause you then have this new realization that it's not a part of your core self. Mm. So yeah, the safety is really knowing that you're held through the whole process through those seven weeks. And also that you have a safe container to really express everything you're curious um, of about yourself and without judgment. And, and I, I feel like that's a quality that I just sort of, just sort of have a very motherly quality in my, in my offerings. Like nurturing. Yeah. Nurturing. I think it's nice that you were mentioning too, that, you know, once the program is completed, that people can still book more sessions with you. So, you know, if they need follow-up, if they'd want to just stay connected, if, you know, because they've made these new changes in their lives, something else has come up that they can still have access to the healing services that you provide. Yeah. Yeah. And I I actually like that you brought that up because I tried, I wanted to honor, you know, if you've gone through a transformational program with me, you're considered a graduate after you move through Mm -hmm. and there's actually a a 20% discount on sessions just as a, a kindness or to, to show my gratitude for the efforts you've done and that you're always welcome to come back for one on session, one off sessions, if ever you need it. Um, and then you get that reduced rate just because I already, you know, there's, it's easier to work with people who, you know, and you kind of know their history. So it just, it's also, it's easier for me too. And I really love being able to, you know, work with people long, t- long term. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, absolutely. I know there's a lot of you know, gratif- gratification that comes from, from that, I think on both sides, you know, you build that connection with your clients and, and then with yeah. you and it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. So is there anywhere that uh, myself or any other viewers could go to check out testimonials from people that have taken your program? Yeah. So um, I just wanted to backtrack a tad little bit. Cause I was like, long-term is so great. And then I was like, but hopefully it's not long-term because you will have transformed and alchemized what you needed to do. And now you're in the freebie zone and you don't need to have, you know, you don't want, you know, I want you to feel empowered. That's another big part of the, why I made it a hybrid with the teaching component. Cause I want to transfer the knowledge to you so that you can continue on and work at your own healing um, with the tools that are really innate to everyone who is energy sensitive and really everyone in the world, but mostly to people who, are interested in the world of energy. So um, where can you find testimonials? So right now um, I was able to get earthhearthealing.com that it opened up in the last year. When I went to renew my .ca, um, I saw that it was available and it was like the cost was $20. I was like, I am getting that. (laughs) (laughs) So why did I bring that up? Because I am transitioning my website to .com, but right now it is .ca. And you should be able to click on where they are right now. They're under the transformational program. I've got a couple of testimonials from a smaller transformational program and then the soul growth breakthrough bundle um, of women who have gone through the program themselves and really experienced a lot of, yeah, nurturing and safety and transformation as well. Hmm. So, Is it possible to find your testimonials on YouTube as well? <laughs> yeah, there's a couple. The same ones are on YouTube. Yes. Not all of them are up there, but there's, I think, four or five up there as well. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. What would you say to someone who's considering enrolling in your program, but they might not be sure if it's right for them? I would say you can book a clarity call. Those are free. And that is what those sessions are all about, to see if we're a good fit, to see if I can uh, meet your needs, what you're looking for. You have an opportunity to ask questions and um, yeah, we just kind of get a feel for each other and see if it, see if it's a good fit. Well, that's wonderful. And I can leave a link to your clarity call in the description below of this video, if that's all right with you, Marnie. Perfect. Excellent. 
Um, so is there anything in closing that you'd like to let anybody know who might be interested in this program or even just anybody who's on the path of transformation? Well, there's so much I could say. I'm like, I got to pick something good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have future I... conversations with you, Marnie, on this channel, but just anything, um, just a little, little brief, brief. Yeah. I would say if you're feeling the nudge to reach out, um, sometimes our higher self and our lower self can be doing battle in our in internal energetics. And it's probably your higher self that is reaching out. So <laughs> I don't think it would be your lower self usually. <laughs> I'm just making a joke right now, but <laughs> <laughs> usually they don't want to go see the light of like the light of goodness. Usually they like to say hidden in the, in the shadows, but right. the higher self loves, loves the light, loves empowerment and self-development and soul evolution is really, if you're starting to become interested in spiritual development and personal development, this is like you stepping into the evolution of your soul in a conscious way. So there's a chapter in our human nature, or human life where we're we're unconscious to our soul and we we develop by experiencing from the outside world inwards and we get molded kind of from the outside in. And then when the soul awakens, it's a shift and you have this new desire to mold yourself from the inside out. So you have to start doing housekeeping and and kind of looking at the files of you. It's a process actually that the heart, once it opens, has this alchem alchemization process of really looking at every aspect of who you are to see if it fits in with your soul self. And there's this an, kind of like an internal judgment process that happens. And with compassion, of course, it's not, you know, that's where nuances come in. Cause I just said, don't judge, but you know, the soul does have kind of a, yes, this will make it through the barrier and no, this one has to be released and let go. Mm, like a discernment. Yeah. Discernment. Yeah. That's a better word for it. Yeah. Discernment. And, and just to trust yourself, if you feel, um, an inner nudge or just an intuitive, yeah, feeling that this might be good for you, trust yourself. A clarity call is free. You know, it, it's, not going to, you know, take anything out of your bank account, the first interaction. So, you know, then you even have the opportunity to ask questions, even there, if you want a quick answer about something, I'm happy to share what I know. Um, and yeah, just wishing everybody love and, and success in their own processes. And I'm here to serve. I'm ready. I've been working on the business side of my self-development for a couple of years now. Also walking through that passage of fear of being seen. I think that we all have as healers um, because there's been so much trauma related to feminine um, multidimensional expression, I guess you could say. Hmm. So, Absolutely. yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing Marnie and thank you for this wonderful interview. I appreciate you coming on and uh, we'll have much more content with Marnie and I coming up. And so I'll leave a description below for Marnie's website, for her program, as well as for her beautiful book, Sparks from the Heart. And you can buy that where most major books are sold, including Amazon. So I can leave a link below. So thanks once again, Marnie, for coming on and for sharing about your wonderful program. And we will talk to you later. All right. My pleasure. See ya. Bye.